Hi. In this video, Ask F5 shows you how to use the Receive Disable String Advanced Configuration setting. You can use the Receive Disable String setting to disable a pool member or node based on the response the monitor receives from the server. The Receive Disable String setting applies to HTTP, HTTPS, HTTP/2, TCP, and UDP monitors. These monitors use the receive disable string value in conjunction with the receive string value to determine one of three states for a monitored pool member or node. The up enabled state, where the pool member or node is available to receive new connections. The up disabled state, where the pool member or node allows existing connections until they are completed or timed out. In this state, however, the pool member or node is not available to receive new connections and a down state where the pool member or node is not available to receive new connections. Additional information on using the receive disable string beyond what is covered in this video is in the Ask F5 article K12818. A link to this article is below this video. I will now step you through how to configure the receive disable string. This setting provides an alternate method to disable or mark down a pool member without having to provide administrative access to the Big IP system. For example, a separate sysadmin team with no access to the Big IP system can disable pool members. To begin, go to the command line of the server on which you want to perform maintenance. Using whichever text editor you want, create an HTML file. For this video, we'll name the file serverstat.html, but you can name the file what you want. Type vi serverstat.html. In the file, type server operational. Select escape and type wq for write quit. Repeat the previous steps and create an HTML file for all servers that you are monitoring in your pool. Now, we'll configure an HTTP monitor to query the HTML file on the pool member server. From the Configuration Utility, go to Local Traffic, Monitors, click Create. Type a name for the new monitor. For type, select HTTP. To get the file, in the Send String box, after Get Slash, type the name of your HTML file. In this example, we'll type serverstat.html. In the Receive String box, type Server Operational. In the Receive Disable String box, type Maintenance. Configure other settings as necessary. Click Finished. To apply the monitor to the pool, go to Pools. Click the pool of the pool member you want to monitor. In the Health Monitor section, locate the monitor in the Available column and move it to the Active column. Click Update. The monitor is now marking the pool as available. Click the Members tab and you can see that all pool members are up because they all have the serverstat.html file with the server operational HTML content being transmitted as the reply to the request. If you want to perform pool member maintenance, this feature allows system administrators, with or without access to the Big IP system, to disable pool members. You simply open the HTML file in our case, serverstat.html, and change server operational to maintenance. For example, if you want to disable this pool member so you can perform maintenance on it, go to the server itself and change the value in this monitored file to maintenance as follows. Go to the command line of the server on which you want to perform maintenance and type vi serverstat.html, where you see server operational Replace it with Maintenance, which is the Receive Disable string. Select Escape and type WQ. Switch to the Configuration Utility and go back to the Pool list where the current members are listed. Click the Members tab to refresh the screen. You can see the member where we changed the server stat file to Maintenance now shows Available Disabled, which means it is servicing existing connections but is not allowing new connections. The other two members are up because their serverstat.html files still say server operational.
Connections will slowly drain from the member that is undergoing maintenance, and the other two pool members will handle the connections. After all existing connections are drained from the pool member, you can begin to perform maintenance work. For additional information on using the Receive Disable String Advanced Configuration setting, refer to the Ask F5 article K12818. A link to this article is below this video. And that's it. If you have other questions you'd like to see answered on this channel, leave a comment or send us an email. Thanks for watching.